Hello YouTube, this is Noah and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to move your Steam soundtracks to iTunes. Now if you're like me, you have um, bought a game that comes with a soundtrack or bought a soundtrack on Steam and you've gone into your um, music right here under, under library and you go to play the song and you're like, oh I like the song, I want to download it, but you look through the Steam's interface and you don't see an option to download it. In fact, there is no option to uh, download it or show you where the soundtrack is on Steam, which is quite annoying. And um, yeah, today I'm going to be showing you how to move Steam soundtracks into iTunes. The reason I'm going to use iTunes is because I have an iPhone, and um, that's where I'm going to be moving my um, soundtracks to, is to my iPhone. So uh, this is a really cool way on how to move your... Um, Steam soundtracks onto your phone and um, I don't know if there's any other way to do this other than the way I'm about to show you if there is one you can uh, tell me in the comments section so you can help anybody else if this way doesn't work for some reason but this way should work almost literally every time there shouldn't be any problems with this uh, way that I'm going to be doing it so first off what you're going to want to do is open finder I have it open right here and you're going to want to locate your Steam apps folder now if you don't know where this is then you can go to um, Steam and then go to settings and if you check downloads you can uh, select Steam library folders and right here it'll tell you where it is mine is in my documents setting or documents folder so that's what I'm going to be doing I'm going to go to my Steam apps location and um, here it is under documents and what you're going to want to do is go to common and then you're going to want to select the folder of the game you own the soundtrack for. For example, if I want the soundtrack for Portal 2, it's right here. So what you're going to want to do is select that and scroll down and you'll see a folder called Soundtrack. Pretty obvious, you um, select the soundtrack and right here will be all the songs in the soundtrack. And what you're going to want to do from there is, um, for me, iTunes does this I don't know if it'll do this for everyone but for me what it does is it leeches off of the original file location so if I were to drag all these songs into iTunes right now and then I were to delete the game it would also delete the soundtrack and then iTunes won't be able to find the root files so it won't be able to find your um, soundtrack because you dragged it straight from Steam so what you're going to want to do is select all of the songs that you want and then what I did was I took them into a music, a I put them into a designated folder in my music library right here. And then what I did is I dragged them and I made a copy and pasted them into here. And the reason I did that is because now if I delete the soundtrack from my Steam, then I will still have the copy here that iTunes will use. So it won't delete it from iTunes. If you were to um, copy it straight from the Steam folder, then it would um, not. When you click on the music files in iTunes, it would be. It would say uh, cannot locate files, and then you would have to re-download the soundtrack again if you wanted to play them. So that's a bit of a hassle. So like I said, just copy them and put them into here. If you're going to plan on deleting them, if you're not going to be deleting the game and not deleting the soundtrack, then it's fine to copy it from there, I guess. But if you are planning on deleting the game or soundtrack, then make a copy so that iTunes has a root to work with. So uh, yeah, once you have them all in the root folder that you want to use, once you have them from here, then you're going to want to select all the songs you want and drag them into here. You can drag them into your songs, or what I did, I dragged them into a playlist. That way I wouldn't have to drag them again into a new playlist once I have them in my songs. But now I have them all in the playlist, and as you can see here, I also took these... Um, I also took the Portal 1 soundtrack and put them in the same thing, called it the complete soundtrack. And um, I did that just so that I wouldn't have to um, have another playlist with Portal 1 soundtrack. I just put them all in one place. But um, if you did notice back here, it does have these weird numbers that you might have seen before. And you're like, ew, I don't want to have to edit that in iTunes. You don't have to worry about that. Those don't actually show up in iTunes they only tell iTunes that 
rather than sorting the songs in alphabetical order, the soundtrack has a specific order that it goes in. So if you were to sort it by album, it would sort it by the order of the soundtrack rather than the uh, alphabetical order of the songs in the soundtrack. Now there's one last thing you're going to notice is iTunes will sometimes fix this, but more times than not it won't. If you try to play a song, you'll see it has no album artwork. And sometimes iTunes will find the album artwork for you and put it on for the song, and other times it won't. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select all these songs. What you're going to do is you're going to right-click them, you're going to go to Get Info, and you're going to go to Artwork. And then what I do is I go back to the uh, Portal Soundtrack for folder, and the soundtrack for Portal came with this artwork, but um, not all soundtracks that you download may come with it. If it doesn't, just go to Google, search an image, just search up Portal 2 soundtrack album art, and you'll likely, it'll, the first result will be fine. Then you can download that and proceed to do what I do here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drag the PNG into iTunes right here. Hang on. Uh, right here. And then what it's going to do is it's going to take that and it's going to replace all of the artwork for um, the songs I have selected to this. Um, I don't care as much about artwork, so I'm not going to, um, yes, you click yes. Um, I'm not going to um, change the artwork for the Portal 1 soundtrack. I'm okay with having them change all of it to that. But um, it's going to take a few seconds depending on what size of the um, artwork you have. If you have a lower resolution size, it's going to... Uh, load faster, but I do have 77 songs selected, and that's a lot of songs, so that's why it's taking so long. Excuse me. Um, but now, as you can see, it will. All of the artwork is changed to the new artwork that I added, and um, for some reason, this one's not changing. I don't care too much about this though, because it's just the playlist cover. It's not the actual album art that you'll see when you play it on your phone. But yeah. Um, like I said, this was just for Portal. If you want to go back to your soundtracks in Steam Apps Common, and you want to try another soundtrack that you have, per uh, for example, I have the Payday soundtrack, and for some reason in Steam it separated all the different soundtracks for Payday. I don't know why it did that, but um, don't worry about it. Um, so go back to Common, and say I wanted to get the Payday 2 soundtrack, I would go to Payday 2. Let me just make this a little bit bigger. And as you can see, it has the soundtrack right here. This is the Christmas soundtrack and the regular soundtrack, but all the songs are here. As you can see, it's not titled soundtrack, like Portal 1 and Portal 2's soundtracks, but um, each one may be titled something different. So keep that in mind. If it's not titled soundtrack, it could be called something different, but all the files are there if you have the soundtrack downloaded. Um, a good example of it not being called soundtrack is Surgeon Simulator. If I go to that soundtrack, uh, there it is. If I go to that one, it's called um, Black Hair and Surgeon Simulator uh, MP3, but all the soundtrack files are still there, as you can see, and I believe, yep, that is the artwork, so um, I think most of them do come with artwork, otherwise it would show nothing here if it didn't come with artwork, but all of your soundtracks you have are in the file locations for the games. So that's about it guys, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section, and um, subscribe if you liked what you saw here, and if you want to see more videos like this on my channel, and um, leave a like if this helped you at all, and I will uh, see you guys in my next video, bye.